What's up guys? Welcome to your 179th Android tutorial where we're going to start programming our cube. And what I've done is I set up three new classes, uh, three new classes. You guys don't have to. Um, just so I can, you know, add it to the demo application that you guys can download from the marketplace or whatever. Um, so it's pretty much the same. All I'm going to do is change if you guys decide to make three new classes. I called this one GL Cube Example, which is the activity class and it's going to take a GL Cube Renderer. Um, which is pretty much the exact same as our uh, previous renderer except instead of having a triangle I set up a GL cube uh, which we're gonna create here um, which is that class we're gonna create for cube and pretty much everything else is the same uh, it's giving us an error because we don't have a draw method within our cube as well but um, pretty much everything else is gonna be the same as for now uh, maybe change this to be a little bit closer there all right, so let's get into it. Uh, let's open our GL cube class up, and uh, it's right here. It's gonna be pretty simple. We're actually gonna, uh, sorry, we're gonna open our triangle class first and pretty much copy everything because it's pretty much the same framework. So it's gonna be nice and easy here, a little bit easier. We'll be able to move a little bit quicker than we did previously. And we just need to change our constructor to cube, oops. Um, to the name of our class or our cube here. Um, so GL cube. And there we go. Now let's just think about the points that we need to set up and we're gonna work with 3D now. It's gonna be pretty much for the same same concepts here. So as you can see we have four points here and then also if we hover around you can see two or three more points here but there's also a fourth point back here. So we have a total of eight points to build a cube um, which you know makes sense and uh, so we're just gonna you know put those points in gotta think about it uh, this would be like let's go to the front view again this front most point up here would be 1 1 and then negative 1 in the y direction or in the z direction so you know it'll be closer to us and then the anyways we're just gonna program them hopefully you guys kinda understand the coordinates of the points and so we're just gonna go into Eclipse change your point references up here so we're gonna say the first point will be uh, 1 comma um, that's in the x direction 1 in the y direction and negative 1 in the z direction and we can uh, just leave a comment we'll say point 0 and this is reference to the top front right and then it depends how we're going to put these together, but when you guys are setting up your points, you kind of have a reference to how you label them, because again, we did clockwise last time. But we're just going to set them up and kind of wing it as we go. So the next point, we're going to do the bottom front right. So we're just going to say 1, uh, negative 1 in the y direction, and negative 1 in the z direction. So we're going to call this point bottom front uh, right. Next point, uh, we're going to say the bottom front left, so that's going to be negative 1 in the y or in the x direction, negative 1 in the y direction, and negative 1 in the z direction. And again, we're just going to call this point 2, bottom front left. Then we're going to set up the top um, front left as well, so we're just going to say uh, negative 1, 1, negative z axis, and that's going to be 0.3. And then we're going to just set up them, um, set these up as the back, and they're pretty much going to be in the same position. So I'm just going to copy this whole thing and paste it. And this time we just want to change the z to plus 1 um, instead of minus 1. And then we're just going to change all these fronts to back. And there we go. We have all of our points set up. We might want to change our references um, because we're going to get into that in the next tutorial. How we can connect these um, pretty much the most efficient way so we don't have to do a whole lot of typing. And again, we're going to use this, this indices um, array here, this index array. So I'll catch you guys then. Um, again, pretty much the same concepts except we just had a third dimension there which we're gonna have to change within our draw method and all that great stuff so I'll catch you guys then and have a good one